What's going on, Jerome? Your Minnesota Fine Vikings are 4-0 in the thick of the, the tough part of the schedule. And in three weeks in a row, they've down some of the best teams in the National Football League. All three teams at least made it to the divisional round of the playoffs last season. Niners even made it to the Super Bowl. And... You got to feel good about things, even though, yeah, second half against the Packers, whatever. But the Vikings are coached by legit, legit coaches. Kevin O'Connell is shooing for coach of the year. Brian Flores uh, is overseeing the best defense in the National Football League. I don't care about the second half against the Packers. Uh, the Packers scored on drives of 3-20. and 20. All right, so turnovers were a major part of the defense, sort of give it away, give it away, give it away now against Packers. It happens, man. And also slinging Sam Darnold, looking like comeback player of the year slash MVP candidate. Woo! Absolutely love to see it, man. Uh, the connection with Justin Jefferson is growing and shown every single week. Trust is there. Chemistry is there. And the Vikings, one week at a time. Un wico de paseo. But uh, got to be feeling good about things. Long story longer. So, it, it's nice when we get just a smidgen of respect from the national media, Jeroni Haircuts. Uh, Emmanuel Acho, uh, out. So, him and his brother, Sam Acho. Great, great linebackers for the University of Texas. Hook them, baby. Uh, Emmanuel, who's gotten into the sports uh, sports media sphere as well as I, I think he like is a host of The Bachelor, something like that. Like like I don't know. Hmm. But uh, Emmanuel Acho had some great things to say on uh, FS1, the facility. Facility's a great show, by the way. Like Shady McCoy's on there too. I mean, they actually talk ball as opposed to how will the Cowboys affect LeBron's legacy. More, more of this and Little Wayne later on first take. Uh, but Acho, dear NFL fans, no matter how good you think the Vikings are, they're even better. <laughs> if no one else will say it on national TV, I will. Now, Acho ain't afraid to take a stand and have a take that is unpopular. Sometimes he's off base. No one bats a thousand in in this industry, but on this one, he connects. 531, uh, 531 foot home run, in my opinion. Uh, talk about the Vikings as uh, the best team in the National Football League, and this is his rationale. Uh, quote, regardless of how good you think the, the Vikings are, they're better. Find a coaching staff outside of the Chiefs that you think is better than Kevin O'Connell and Brian Flores. Now, r- respect. Andy Reid uh, and all, Steve Spagnuolo, Spags, they're fantastic. But in terms of offensive and defensive play caller, who do you trust more than these two right now? Pretty good question. Uh, their first in passing touchdowns and their first in interceptions. Uh, their top five scoring offense and simultaneously a top five scoring defense. They lead the National Football League in sacks. Not only is Brian Flores a wizard, but his players are playing at a masterful uh, level. Uh, and also, you know, the fact that the Vikings did import so many veterans who are heady, high football IQ. They, they play team defense. They're not concerned about individual stats. Every single week, someone else steps up. That's what's great about this defense, man. Uh, C.J. Stroud down and out. Brock Purdy down and out. Jordan Love down and out. First half. Yeah, yeah. And also, if you take out that 96-yard drive when everyone was gassed, uh, I mean, it still looks okay. Still looks okay. Do y'all realize the Vikings are dismantling some of the best quarterbacks and offenses in football, some of the best teams in football? I will say it one final time. Offenses beware, teams beware, because the Minnesota Vikings aren't playing no games. And that's fair. I mean, this team is out here sliming head coaches. That's where we're at, man. That's where we're at, baby. But this defense, so the the defense is going to take the second half of the Packers game uh, personally. And they're going to bring the thunder against A.A. Ron Rodgers. And the Jets might have the worst offensive line in football, which is saying something because the Patriots exist, right? So they're going to bring hell, fire, and fury down in London uh, against the Jets. It's going to be great. Offensively, I mean, what else can you really say? I mean, we can pick nits. I mean, Bradbury and Ingram need to step things up. But you're getting Reisner back. You're getting Hawkinson back. Jordan Addison had two touchdowns in his return game. Justin Jefferson is still him. A.A. Ron Jones needs to go back on that pitch count now that the Packers game is over. Thank you. Ty Chandler needs some more work. And Darnold is looking transcendent right now. So I understand that, oh, I've been a Vikings fan since the 60s, and they've always kicked me in the nuts. Yeah, fully understand that. What do... The, the 69 or 75 or whatever Vikings have to do with the 2024 Vikings, right? They're playing damn good on both sides of the ball, and also they're being led by two great leaders of men, and also slinging Sam Darnold is doing the damn thing. Everyone expects, hey, oh, just wait until Darnold turns into a pumpkin. Oh, you just wait. Oh, you just wait. It ain't happening. And also, it makes you think, back through the years, all of the quarterback draft busts, you know, the top five selected guys, how many would have worked out 
if they didn't cuz remember at the top of the draft I mean you're there for a reason you know unless, barring a trade like you're up there because you were ass thank you last year and ass teams generally come from ass organizations who are poorly coached not a lot of talent there either so how many draft busts would have worked out if they went to an organization that catered to them like, like Sam Darnold here with the Vikings or was surrounded by talent or they weren't coached by morons Hmm. certainly does uh, make you wonder, but enjoy every single week. And so I've said this from the jump. This is the most physical football team, physical Vikings team that I've ever seen uh, in my many, many moons uh, of watching this stupid squadron. Now, I think they're a more complete team than the 98 Vikings. I think that they're a souped up version of the 2017 Vikings. Uh, I think that they're a younger and more complete version than the 09 Vikings, right? But it's a lot of fun right now. But like I said, one game at a time, and the second half of the Packers game should sufficiently piss them off to just go into London and just obliterate the Jets. The Jets are bad. Like, they could get Rob Salah fired. I feel like we're, we're they're on the knife edge of history right now. I think Rodgers is ready to quit. I think the offensive line is bad. Their defense is atrocious. They just lost to, uh, they just lost to Bo Nix after Bo Nix threw for 60 yards. It's ridiculous, man. But it was a good wake-up call. And uh, Eman- I-, I forgot what we were talking about, but Emmanuel Acho is absolutely right. The Vikings, they're better than you expect, and they might be the best team in football right now. At minimum, they're playing like it. So there you go. Uh, your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, Vikings, pretty, pretty, pretty good. Let us know in the comment section. You guys know what to do. Skull, production value. <laughs>